this video we are going to make a colored vignette. If you want to use the same image as in the video, you can find the download link in the description. Go to File and open the photo with the portrait of the bride. Click on the little icon in the right top corner to maximize the image. Now we click on the foreground color to make the color palette visible. We can choose any color we like of course, but in this video we are going to pick a color from the image for our vignette. Click on the eyedropper. Click in the image on the color of your choice and this color becomes visible in the palette. If you want another color, we first have to click the eyedropper again. Click OK in the color palette. Go to the menu bar and click Layer and then New Layer. We can give this layer a name, for instance Vignette. Choose foreground color as the layer fill type, which is the green color we have picked in the photo. Click OK to confirm. We will lower the opacity of the vignette layer a bit. When the cursor changes into a little arrow, we can easily move or click the slider. Lower the opacity, maybe 30 or 40 percent, so we can see the underlying photo through the vignette layer. Go to the toolbox and activate the ellipse select tool. By the tool options, we check the option fixed and we have the aspect ratio 1 to 1. Our selection will be circle shaped. Make the selection. By grabbing the handles and or the corners we can edit the selection. When we place the cursor inside the selection, we can, by click and drag, move the whole selection. We can place the circle shaped selection more or less in the center of the image, but we can also use the alignment tool to center it exactly. First hit enter or click in one of the corners to confirm. Activate the Align tool. By Relative to, we choose Selection. Click on the vignette and then click on the Align Center and Align Middle button. Now click on the underlying photo and again on the buttons. Go to Image and click Fit Canvas to Layers. Go to View, Zoom and then Fit Image in the window. And in this way we have used the Align tool to center the vignette. Go to Select in the menu bar and click Feather. The sharpness of the vignette depends on the amount of pixels we feather it in combination with the size of the image. Here we feather the selection with 300 pixels. Click OK. Click Edit and then Clear so the vignette becomes visible. Click Select and now None to remove the selection lines. We can adjust the opacity to our own likings. Here I have made it 100%. By clicking on the eye of the vignette layer we can see the image without and with the vignette. And there it is, a simple way to make a colored vignette. I hope you liked the video, thanks for watching.